What is going on family? We are back with another video. Thank you for checking in. And today's gonna be an awesome day today because Hannah, she's getting ready right here. And we have Azwar. We're actually gonna go on a mini road trip out to this cottage. And before we get this done, I'm really excited as well because I just got a package in from this amazing jean company. So they actually reached out to me. They sent me a couple things here and literally they are the best fit ever. So gym guys, if you want to wear skinny jeans that actually have a little bit of stretch on them and they fit really well, cause sometimes I either get my waist is too big or the pants are too big and the waist is too small or vice versa, you know what I mean? But these ones are really on the money. So this is actually hella dope. I don't have a blue pair of skinny jeans, but I got these darker pair with a little bit of rips in them. I'm super stoked to throw these on and then I'm gonna start uh, the second podcast of the butter podcast so let's see what they look like uh all right this is much better so um i actually really like the fit of these you can see they actually taper down they come in a little bit here and then they fit the calf nicely and then they look super tight which obviously they are but they have a lot of stretch to them so i really like that style if you guys want to check them out you can look in the link in my bio if you guys want to check them out and other than that, we're going to get back to the Butter Podcast, and I'll throw up a clip right. So I'm brown, and he's yellow. Parents, boom, boom, and then I was born in Canada. One thing that I learned with traveling so much take that extra step to actually pack everything. So I used to pack way too much, and then I ended up packing way too less, cause I'm like, I'm just gonna bring a duffel bag. Did and I tell you about the time I went to Asia with no underwear? No. <laughs> so I packed, I went to backpack in Asia, and uh, I got to Japan and realized I didn't pack any underwear. So I had to wash <laughs> the same underwear I had, cause Every Asia day. sells really small underwear. The one thing I wanna say about that is, I'm not surprised, because it's Aswar. Yeah. But you guys will get to know him a little bit better. <laughs> but uh, I'm more referring to the diet thing, because I know diet thing, it's really easy just to go eat out and pick something up really quick. But if you guys want to hit your fitness goals, make sure you guys pack those things up. So we packed up this gigantic Ikea bag full of stuff. Macro friendly, Jeff Nippard, Rice Krispies. Don't worry about that. Hannah Bay just packed up a bunch of the vitamins I saw. So we're going to be on point, even though it's going to be one night. But it's going to be a blast. And then there's this one, who has how many suitcases? One small one, one big one. What? No, seriously? Yes. Packed an underpack. I can't believe this. This is literally one Stop making me look suitcase. crazy. We're doing photo shoots. I need to have like multiple outfits. I can live out of that for three months. <laughs> I swear What's gonna happen when we move to Asia? You're bringing a backpack. Like no, a, I'm like a 70 liter backpack. No, I'm paying extra to fucking bring like three suitcases everywhere I go. Yo, if you don't fuck with Mochi, I don't fuck with you. We got the... So if you don't like it, say you do. Yeah, so I got the strawberry on dick. Look at this guy. No, on that that shit. Is it good? Oh, it's like... I can't bite ice cream, but... Just made it to the cottage here. It's actually so beautiful. I love the vibe. It feels like we're away from the city. We're just out here in nature, enjoying the fresh air. And I think we're gonna make some food as we're gonna go get the wood for the fire and we're gonna get the day going. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the vlog. Bro, just open it. What the fuck? <laughs> We are not using that to barbecue. Yo! We're what? using the, it's just ants, it's just ants. Cause we need this for hot dogs. What? <laughs> <laughs> Look at their eggs. Dude, it's gonna have all be in the house. Let me see their eggs. Oh my god, what the hell? What? Yo! What? This is where he dropped deuce. Where you drop deuce? I dare, I'm gonna open. Yo, is that I where you're sleeping it. tonight? What is that? Another shed too? <laughs> and you cut the wood. <laughs> you gonna go do the poop? No, I, just, I feel like it's gonna stink. Dude, open it. <laughs> oh. oh, what the fuck? Nope. Pizza's in the oven. About to do a dope shoot with Babe. He's all looking fancy and yummy. 
So I'm gonna have to get a cool one with her. So she, so all the guys know. So we ended up making some Zaza and uh, I had one slice. So we're gonna try that as quarter of the frozen pizza, margarita. And margarita. you guys are probably wondering, wondering why I look like a dish. It's because <laughs> we're shooting outside. I don't want to get eaten by the bugs. So Ezra and I are actually making up some of these tacos that I got at Costco and it actually smells amazing. Um, Ezra has marinated some chicken breasts that we have so the only carbs and fat we're getting are from the tortillas and we have coleslaw salsa on there, um, more chicken and a little bit of cheese. And one thing that I love to do, I think I mentioned this a lot, I'm going to throw plain Greek yogurt on there, zero fat. Um, and it's gonna be a replacement for sour cream. So if you really like sour cream like myself with nachos, with this type of stuff or with anything, it is an amazing replacement. And Hannah, she brought um, some vodka with some Clamato and some other stuff to make Caesars. But this can be a um, pretty high calorie even though we are drinking vodka, like the Clamato has a lot of extra calories. So I, we ended up, ended up going to the NSLC, which is a liquor store here in Nova Scotia. We got these, it's sparkling water flavored with vodka in it. And what you have to do to track alcohol, all you have to do is take the total calories. So not the carbs, not the fat. Um, the actual total calories of it, and it's 100 calories, zero carbs, zero protein, zero fat, but those calories are coming from alcohol. So you want to divide those calories into carbs and fat and take it away from your macros that way. So personally, I like to take them away mostly from my carb intake. And then you can fit these in, and that's why you do all of these little things to save calories in other areas so you can enjoy yourself a drink or two when you are away. What is going on family? So I'm actually back in Halifax and I had an amazing trip with Aswar and Hannah and I wanted to uh, talk to you guys about preparing for events when you go out. Um, I always want to try to add value to these videos and uh, make sure you guys get something out of them. So I definitely want to explain this because I feel like it's very valuable. And this is probably one of the biggest reasons why no one can stick to a diet. Um, the cravings kick in, the temptations come in. But the thing is, is you can make it fit, no problem. So I knew I was going away and there's certain things that you can do. The first step is to plan ahead and to figure out how to balance your calories. So um, at the end of the week, I personally take refeeds. So I took my refeed that day. To further um, create more room for me to eat, step two is offset the refeed a little bit more. So on the days um, prior to the event, I actually dropped my overall calories. I took it away from carbs and fat, and I added them to that day on Saturday. There are short-term effects within two-week effects. I think the research showed that if your calorie intake is too high versus on you know, one day, or if your fat intake is too high on one day, it can actually make you look uh, different. So. Um, that is why I don't recommend doing this too often, but when the time comes, overall calorie balance is what matters most. So, um, throughout the week, take some calories away from your carbs and your fat and add them to that specific day. Also, I knew I was gonna be drinking that night, I knew we were gonna be eating a little bit better or eat a little bit dirtier. So the next thing that I did was I ate, ate clean or macro friendly throughout the day to make sure I had more room for when I was actually going to indulge. Um, so I'm offsetting that certain day as well and uh, I pretty much was just saving up my macros. One other thing that you can do is um, add more cardio to your regimen. Um, so you're going to offset or adjust your overall calories by diet and cardio and any activity that you do. Um, I don't recommend offsetting it too much by cardio, 80% um, or more should be done by your diet. So you can actually add that in and the amount of calories you burned, you can add to uh, the day you're going to indulge. But the thing is, it never works out properly or exact when you add a certain amount of cardio and eat more, there is a line to that. And then lastly, of course, if you are in a situation you had no idea that the thing was going to be going on and you just end up going out sporadically and you start indulging, 
don't worry if you start to realize it you can stop right there just because you go in doesn't mean you have to say fuck it and eat even more and go off because you're gonna regret it don't have that fucking mentality just drop everything at that moment and control yourself and be like look i indulged a little bit i enjoyed it but now i need to stop because it's gonna throw you off for the entire week um, one night out can actually destroy your progress by one to two weeks because you're gonna have to get all of the fat and all the calories that you consumed back to where you were and then you have to catch up and do another week of dieting to be where you should be Lastly, of course, there is such thing as damage control, but I don't recommend it. Generally, if someone binges, I like to recommend just get back to the regimen, get back into a routine, because going from one extreme to the next is a lot harder than just going back to your regular diet. So if you feel like you're very comfortable mentally, you're in the right spot, I can recommend a little bit of damage control and what you can do the days after you can add a little bit of cardio, you can diet a little bit harder than you normally did. Um, but other than that, I don't really recommend damage control too much, uh, mostly if it's a time sensitive situation such as a show or something that's coming up um, because it can be mentally tough. Um, little things you can do to make sure that your diet is staying on track is implement the refeeds like I have mentioned, diet breaks every uh, couple months and uh, deloads and stuff like that. But other than that guys, I wanted to add a little bit of value to you guys and kind of relate it to my actual life on what I'm doing. So I appreciate you guys. If you stuck around this far, um, please let, let me know in the comment section below what you thought, like the video, if you liked it, subscribe if you're not part of the team, and I'll see you guys in the next video.